teachers don't look. <laughs> okay. There. That's still up. Yeah. Well, I, I learned that there's a press conference tomorrow formally announcing this year-long celebration, which puts a lot of extra pressure on me because <laughs> apparently there's still time to cancel the press conference if <laughs> tonight doesn't go well. So uh, keep that in mind. I titled this Adventures in Science Literacy, Observations and Reflections. I, I could have given a talk on all the splendor and beauty of the cosmos, but in fact, there are books on that. The whole website's given unto that. And at the end, you say, oh, wasn't that nice? And you, you go on about your day tomorrow. But that wouldn't be the speech I want to give because this year-long celebration is not just a celebration. It's really a call to action. Whether or not they've said it that way, that's what it is. It's a call to action. Not many people know or understand the value of being scientifically literate in a free society where you can choose your leaders and choose what happens to your tax money. And so much of the absence of that, not only in this country but in the history of nations, has led to embarrassing downfalls. And when there is such investments, it's led to extraordinary achievements. And so for the next 45 minutes, plus we have time for questions. In fact, I'd rather just take your questions and not give a talk at all. Because <laughs> um, I already know what I'm going to say, and I, but I, I want to hear what you think. That would be much more interesting for me. But I have to earn the right to hear your questions. And in that, uh, you should consider that once you understand the role and the value of science in society, it means it's time to do something about it, however little, even if it means pausing at the next flower to reflect on what flowers do. Or the next time you step out at night, just look up and reflect on our place in the cosmos, and then share that with others. That would pay great dividends to the nation's place in the history of cultures, measured by our investments in science and technology. So let's proceed. First, you know, a lot of these talks are... Can you hear me this way? Yeah. A lot of these talks are they're often sort of lightly veiled, like commercials for some book that somebody is, like, selling. And uh, this talk is no exception. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually... <laughs> No. <laughs> no. No. Actually, I, I don't like talking about my books because you could just buy the book and then you get the book. If, if, if I fly all the way here and like land and drive and show up, I want to tell you something that's not in any of these. 